Hi, I'm Ranger Russ from the Battle of Rivers Bridge State Historic Site, here to talk to you about the shelter half, or as it was better known, the dog tent. The term dog tent comes to us from the Civil War, but the origin of the name isn't so clear. One version claims it was because the men used to complain the tents were barely fit for a dog, and yet another cites the similarities in the tent's size and shape to those of a doghouse. Whatever the origins, the name stuck, and to this day we still refer to any small tent as a pup tent. The Civil War was very intense for most soldiers, which is to say they spent a lot of their time in tents. A tent was as indoors as they were likely to get, especially while on the march. Tents of all shapes and sizes were common in the camps of both sides during the war. Larger tents required a lot of time, effort, and resources to move and set up. But armies on the move need small, lightweight shelters that can be set up and taken down quickly. A shelter half was just that, half a shelter. The idea was to share the weight of the tent between two people who could button their halves together when it was time to make camp. Once completed, both soldiers would then have to share the tiny A-frame tent. The steep sides of the dog tent helped shed rainwater before it could penetrate the canvas. A light rain was no problem, but heavy rain would leak through the material and blow in through the open ends of the tent. Colonel Jackson, a Union veteran of the Battle of Rivers Bridge, recorded just such an incident in his journal writing about the peculiar sensation of waking up in about six inches of cool water. This was a common experience shared by all soldiers during the Civil War. Dog tents were much better than nothing at all, especially when indoors was usually impossible. Shelter halves could protect soldiers from heat as well, and were often used as sunshades. They frequently appear in pictures of fortifications and earthworks taken during the Civil War. Confederate soldiers in the trenches at Rivers Bridge likely had a similar arrangement to protect them from the cold, rainy elements during the winter of 1865. Thanks for watching. I'm Ranger Russ, and if you'd like to learn more about the daily lives of Civil War soldiers or the battle here, you can come out and visit us at the Battle of Rivers Bridge State Historic Site.